What up y'all, this is Tracy from Nerd Squish and today we're gonna talk about unconventional Christmas movies. Okay, hold on, hold on. It ain't Christmas unless we got that fresh cut pine scent. Okay, also I cooked really garlicky chicken and it just kind of smells interesting in here so we needed a little. Today I'm gonna talk about my 10 favorite unconventional Christmas movies that you can watch this Christmas. So, there are a lot of Christmas movies out there, right? I mean, you've got the classics, and the classics are the classics for a reason. They're solid, they're tight, we love them. You know, you can't go wrong with A Christmas Story and Elf and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeers. They are near and dear to most people's hearts. However, there's only so many times you can watch A Christmas Story in their 24-hour marathon on Christmas Day. So I thought I'd pop on here and give you some ideas for movies that you could watch on Christmas Day to give you a little break from the huge. I wanna preface this because I know this is like an argument with people uh, all over the place. What's a Christmas movie? What's not a Christmas movie? Some of the Movies on my list are very much like marketed as a Christmas movie, even if it's like a subgenre of like horror or whatever, right? However, um, some are Christmas movies and some really aren't, but they like take place during Christmas. But either way, they'll give you that Christmas feel, that Christmas vibe, so let's just roll with it. Coming in at number 10, we have Edward Scissorhands. Now, I put this on the list. This is one that is definitely not a Christmas movie, However, it takes place during the holiday season. So you're seeing a lot of images of like, you know, vintage Christmas decorations and stuff like that. Cause it takes place, what is this? Is this the sixties? Is it the fifties? I don't know. But you've got that Christmas vibes, you know, you're seeing the, like I said, the vintage Christmas decor. And you know, your boy Edward's just up there going snip, 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 snip. And he's like making it snow. And when was like, yes, boy, cut that snow, it's snowing. And it's just, it's a good moment. It's a good moment. And it's just straight up like a great movie in general. So if you want a quirky Tim Burton movie for Christmas that's not A Nightmare Before Christmas, I think you should watch Edward Scissorhands. Coming in at number 10, we have the original Black Christmas. Now, I didn't watch this movie until last year for Christmas for the very first time. And it was never one that was like high up on my list to watch, so I just never took the time to watch it. But boy, am I glad I did. It is a good, that is a solid like horror Christmas movie. Like it is genuinely spooky. But it's not like, you know, the typical just like senseless, like we are squirting blood into the camera all over the place, wild. Like it's just genuinely spooky and it's creepy, keeps you on the edge of your seat and it's very Christmassy. So if you wanna watch something spooky for Christmas, I highly suggest that. Number eight, we're gonna talk about Krampus. People either seem to love or hate Krampus. I like it. I thought it was a very fun, you know, it's the same guy that did Trick or Treat, which Sam and Trick or Treat have become like a Halloween icon. So it's only right that this guy took one of the oldest holiday Christmas icons in the world, the Krampus, and made a spooky horror comedy about it. I mean, what's not to love there? The imagery is there. I mean, it is a Christmas-like, it's hella Christmas in this movie and it's got that dark humor. It's really, really fun. The Krampus is so cool. I want to do a Krampus like costume one year. It's in the works, it's in the future. You know, maybe maybe Christmas 2021 when we're allowed to like have cons and have Christmas parties and normal things. Maybe that's something I'll do. But definitely check out Krampus if you want a spooky take on the holiday season. Number seven, I have a Christmas horror story. This movie is, I really can't say much about it um, without like giving crucial things away that make it to me good. I was scrolling through Netflix like forever ago, just like, mm, what do I watch? And you know, I saw it and I mean, the cover is very like, you see it and you're like, oh, that's interesting. And obviously because it's a Christmas horror story, you know, you think of AHS, American Horror Story, so like that gets you. 
but it's kind of like an anthology kind of a situation, all those stories linked together. And some of the stories and some of the situations when you first watch it, you're like, eh, I don't know about this. But I promise you, when it all links together, you will thank me for watching this movie because it's just, mm, it packs a punch and it's good. Not to mention it's got a badass Santa, like a Santa and Krampus fight, like, you know you wanted to see that on the big screen. I mean, who does not want to watch Kris Kringle and Krampus like duke it out? That's like genius. Coming in at number six, we have Fat Man, which is a brand spanky new movie that just came out this year. And y'all, this movie is fantastic. It, like, I don't even know how to begin to describe it, but basically you have an older, like beaten up Santa played by Mel Gibson, okay? And we're in a point where, you know, Christmas isn't, you know, kind of a trope that you see in a lot of Christmas movies, like Christmas isn't it, what did it used to be anymore? People don't believe. And Santa's like, why do I still have this job, right? But the trick is this kid, this little spoiled brat of a little rich kid, like you wanna just, ugh, right? He gets coal for Christmas and he doesn't like that. So he hires a hitman to kill Santa. Now, that's wild. That is wild, right? <laughs> this movie is very much like um, dark humor. And Mel Gibson as old rugged Santa is like, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I feel it. It's really, really cool. Like he sells it hard. Walton Goggins plays the hitman that is hired to kill Santa. And that dude, okay, we, and I say we, maybe it's me, maybe the rest of the world appreciates him, but I don't think he's appreciated enough. Like that dude sells it in everything I've seen him in. Like, I don't know a lot of things that he's in, but when I see him, I'm like, this is going to be tight. Like he's going to sell this role. And he really does. He's just like Santa Claus obsessed Dude, like I think he was also a dude that when he was a kid, he got coal. So he spent his entire adult life like obsessing over Santa and all this stuff. So when he gets hired to do this, he's like, oh, it's going down. It is definitely not a heartwarming Christmas movie. Like this is like, I don't know. It's a rugged Christmas movie, but it's definitely worth a watch. Definitely one of the weirder ones on the list, but I highly suggest. Number five is Just Friends. Now this is the Ryan Reynolds, Just Friends, because apparently every time I talk about this movie, people think I'm talking about something else. So there's like another Just Friends movie out? I don't know. But anyway, Just Friends, not a Christmas movie. Movie takes place during Christmas and it is one of my favorite movies of all time. Fun fact, it is the first movie that me and Matt ever saw in theaters together back in what, 2005, 2006, something like that. And I love this movie. Ryan Reynolds has a direct connection to my funny bone. And this movie is just so great. It's got all the Christmas imagery, all the Christmas humor. If you haven't seen it, it's about this, Ryan Reynolds plays a character that was, you know, fat in high school. He likes this girl. She sees him as just a friend. He gets made fun of. So he moves out of town, becomes this like rich, like music dude and like comes back to town and tries to like win her over, but he's still in the friend zone and just hilarity ensues. And it is just, I don't even care if it's not Christmas, just watch this movie if you haven't, because it is fantastic. Coming in at number four, we have Better Watch Out. This is a relatively newer movie. I think it came out in the last couple of years. I'm not sure what year, but this is a fun one. Like it is a wild ride. It is definitely one that like when I sat down, what sold it for me is that I didn't know exactly what the movie was about. Like I kind of had a general idea. I thought it was, you know, kind of like a home alone situation where you have kids at home, it's Christmas and somebody breaks in the house and that's sort of how they market the movie. So I'm just gonna tell you that if you haven't seen it, cause I feel like the less you know, the better it is to go into, but this is a fun one. It's gets a little gory at times. So if you're not into that, like maybe don't do this. Like it's sort of like a horror-ish movie, uh, but it is fun and I highly suggest it. It is a wild ride. 
Coming in at number three, we have Gremlins. Now, Gremlins is one that a lot of people have on their list as a Christmas movie, because it is very, you know, Gizmo is gifted as a Christmas present, and, you know, uh, it takes place during Christmas. You have the snow, you have the decorations, you have the lights, you have Gremlins running around causing chaos. So, you know, that's a pretty much one, I don't even know if I'd say it's unconventional anymore, because so many people like to watch it for Christmas, but, I think it's definitely a fun Christmas movie because it still has heart. Even though it's like a sort of horror movie, it has heart and it's Christmassy. And Gizmo is literally the cutest thing in the whole world. I mean, who at some point in their life wanted a Gizmo? Raise your hand because you know that you did. <laughs> Coming in at number two, I have one of my favorite movies of all time, Batman Returns. Now. This is another one that people are like, Batman Returns is not a Christmas movie. It is. Get over it. So it's not really, right? It's a Batman movie, but it takes place during Christmas. And it is also the best Batman movie of all time. Fight me if you think otherwise. Michael Keaton as Batman is <laughs> beautiful. Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman is the most iconic thing that's ever happened in the history of everything. Like, she is just beautiful. The penguins just walking around being all nasty, and that's great. Like, this is just the perfect Christmas movie. And I mean, who doesn't love that, you know, mistletoe could be deadly if you eat it, but a kiss can be even deadlier if you mean it. Ooh! Girl, that's good. My number one movie on this list of unconventional Christmas movies is Anna and the Apocalypse. This is a, another relatively new-ish horror movie. But, hold on, I'm about to fully describe this movie and it's gonna blow your mind. It is a horror Christmas zombie musical. Now, if that didn't sell this movie to you, I, I don't know how to market things to you because that is literally amazing. Um, but it is about this girl that's in high school and she's planning to go away for college, and of course her dad doesn't want her to. So she goes to school, it seems like another day at school, whatever, and then the zombie apocalypse breaks out. And the music in it is fantastic. Now, I'm a theater kid. Like, I did drama club in high school. I love all that cheesy stuff. So, I mean, if you're not into musicals and you're not into theater, you may not like this. However, it is a solid movie. Like, everything about it. Like, the story is really cute. It does have a little, you know, tug at your heartstrings a little bit moment. So when the movie first starts, like, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this. And then once it picks up, it does not slow down. And it's super, super, like, worth getting through the little beginning part. When it first starts, it kind of has, like, a high school musical feel. So I was kind of like, hmm. But... It's worth it, it's wonderful. I wanna do an Anna cosplay. It's simple, you just need like a green jacket, candy cane and some blood. So like, hi, that's my next cosplay. But it's a really, really fun movie and I highly, highly suggest it. It's amazing, you should watch it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite unconventional Christmas movie is. And also, drop the classic favorite movie too because I mean, who doesn't love a good Christmas movie? Don't drop no Hallmark in there. Don't do it, you're better than that. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and Merry Christmas, y'all.